Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and today we are going to Lemon Merengue, very special place. It's always bright and sunny and yellow. To Lemon Merengue, <laughs> me and you, we're gonna go. I made three slightly marbled vanilla cakes, dyeing half of my batter yellow. I left the other half alone. In Lemon Merengue, waterfalls downpour lemon syrup. Oh. If you go swimming, you'll be really sticky. Oh. I have some of that lemon syrup here in Sir Squeeze. I imported it. We went to the waterfall and gathered it. Let's get it on to these three layers of cake. And yes, this is a pool floaty. Sir Squeeze will barely get out of the pool for me. He just dried off. He's gonna join us for a little bit. I'm getting ready to prepare my fillings, so I have some of my Italian meringue buttercream here and some lemon curd. And I'm just gonna add the lemon curd to taste to make a lemony buttercream. You can go super lemony, middle range lemon, and you can go light lemon. It's really up to you. Here in Lemon Meringue, I'm moving my cake elements out of the way because there's one more element I need before I start to assemble this cake, and that is lemon meringue cookies. Do something dramatic here, and then I'll be back with the cookies. I'm gonna chop these cookies up because they will be going inside the cake along with the filling. This is lemon mania. <laughs> Lemon meringue mania. Wow! <laughs> actually, that's a festival that they have in Lemon Meringue. Beyonce actually went to Lemon Meringue mania. That is what inspired Lemony, not Jay-Z's mama. I am gonna fill this cake with lemon curd, lemon meringue cookies, lemon buttercream, and then I'm gonna repeat. The first thing I need to do is spread a dollop of lemon curd onto my first cake layer. And don't forget, the recipe for my lemon curd, which I've made before, is in a link in the description below. I'm using a small offset spatula to spread my lemon curd, and I wanna keep it away from the edge, about a half inch in from the side of the cake. I have a piping bag that I filled with my lemon buttercream, and I'm just gonna use it to pipe a fence, a lemon buttercream fence. That's what's around all the houses in Lemon Merengue. Next, I'm gonna add a dollop of my lemon buttercream and spread it around. We don't wanna disrupt the cookies. Don't disrupt the cookies. Once again, I'm using my offset spatula to just... <laughs> smooth, thank you. I'm using my offset spatula to smooth the excess lemon buttercream. Time to crumb coat this lemon meringue mega cake with more lemon buttercream. Are you happy about it or mad? I mean business. <laughs> I start by placing a dollop of lemon meringue buttercream on top of my cake and then use my large straight spatula to ice. I keep a clean bowl on hand to scrape away any excess buttercream. I don't wanna put that crummy buttercream back into my pristine bowl of buttercream. There are no crumbs allowed in lemon meringue. I'm using my straight spatula once again to scrape in the excess buttercream from the sides. I'm placing it flat and scraping into the center. It's time to chill this cake. In the mountains of lemon meringue, I've got a long way to go all the way back here. The mountains are in the fridge. I'm gonna be topping this lemon meringue mega cake with a lemon meringue tart. I have a pre-baked tart shell right here. And what I wanna do now is just coat the bottom and the sides with some yellow chocolate. This will prevent the tart shell from going soggy once I fill it with curd. That was, that was too close to my eye, hold on. <laughs> Actually, this is what the landscape of lemon meringue looks like. Like the sidewalks are just baked pastry that, that are forked. 
My chocolate is set in my pastry shell, so now I'm going to fill this shell with lemon curd. Since the pastry shell is already baked and the curd is already cooked, this is a no-bake pie, but I want to place this into the fridge to set up before I add meringue. My crumb coat is now chilled, and I want to give this cake a smooth ice with my lemon buttercream, a straight spatula, and a bench scraper. You may have noticed that my tats are back. You talking to me? You are definitely tougher. I, I am? Yeah, no, you are. There's no going back now. That's what I feel. By the way, this month's Cake Tea Club Tea is this tea right here. Cake me around the world. I am. I've caked you to lemon meringue and back. You can get yourself some cake tattoos. You can sign up to be part of the Cake Tea Club at hattacake.com. But right now, it's time to chill this cake. I'm gonna be pouring a bright yellow white chocolate ganache on the top of this cake. To make this white chocolate ganache, you will need a pound of white chocolate chopped finely, half a pound of cream, which shakes up to be almost a cup, and some yellow food coloring. Now I'm gonna heat my whipping cream in the microwave a little at a time until it's almost boiling. I just wanna see bubbles under the surface. My cream is ready, I'm gonna pour it on top of my white chocolate, no stirring required, and then cover the top of the bowl. We're gonna leave the bowl covered for about 10 minutes, and then, then we're gonna stir. Here in Lemon Meringue, 10 minutes goes by like this. We can uncover the ganache and stir. I'm going to color this ganache a nice bright yellow. I'm just gonna drip in some yellow food coloring and stir until I'm happy with the color. Hey Jeremy, would you like a good old lift and drizzle? Yep. You know like ribbon dancers? Yeah. I'm a ganache dancer. <laughs> I'm like, my ganache looks great, I'm happy, I don't see any white bits left over, so I'm gonna set this aside and ice my cake one more time. I'm looking for a really smooth finish on this cake, so I'm gonna ice it one more time with my spatula and my bench scraper until I'm happy. For the top of my lemon tart, I'm going to make some Italian meringue. You guys know that my favorite buttercream is Italian meringue buttercream, and this is basically the same recipe, minus the butter and minus the vanilla. The first thing you need to do is place your sugar and water into a pot, cover it, and place it on the heat to boil. While your sugar is boiling, you'll wanna place your egg white into the bowl of a stand mixer, fit it with a whisk attachment, and have it ready to go on your mixer. Continue to let your sugar boil, and what I find really helpful is using a candy thermometer to keep an eye on the temperature. Once it hits 230 degrees, you can begin to whip your egg whites in your mixer. You're looking for soft peaks. Then as your sugar mixture reaches 240, which is what we're aiming for, we're gonna carefully take the pot off the stove and pour it into the side of our mixing bowl in a steady stream. This cooks the egg whites and creates a beautiful meringue. Continue to whip your meringue until there is no heat on the side of the bowl. So just place your hand on the side of the bowl and you should feel no heat then it's ready. Everything you'll need to make this recipe will be in the blog post and there's a link in the description below. I am the queen of lemon meringue, yeah. And this is my crown. My tart is nice and chilled. My meringue is fluffy and ready to go. I'm gonna pile it high onto my tart and then Bernie's gonna help me brulee it. Now I'm just gonna spread this beautiful mound of meringue. I do wanna leave a little lemon curd exposed, maybe a half inch all around the tart. And instead of us spinning on a hill, the hill is spinning. <laughs> so we're just standing still. We're just like, <laughs> and everything is spinning. I'm gonna place this tart in the fridge and we are gonna assemble our cake. Sing me out, Jocelyn. The hills are alive. The first step in decorating this cake is pouring on some yellow white chocolate ganache. So I need to fill a couple of parchment piping bags with my ganache. I need to cut the tip of my piping bag open with a scissor, and then I'm gonna use it to manipulate the drizzle all around the side of the cake. Mm -hmm. 
This lemon meringue mega cake needs lemon candies. I have lemon slices, mini lemon slices, and lemon drops. I'm just using a little bit of lemon meringue buttercream to glue my lemon slices to the side of my cake. I want Orhan to put in like fairy tale music here. Okay. Get ready? Got it. <clears throat> Action. Welcome to Lemon Merangia. Can I offer you a slice of cake? It's lemon. Would you like some? Would you like some? Yes, I would like some. Would you like some? <laughs> if you would like to stay here in Lemon Merangia with me, please subscribe to this channel and please hit the notification bell. There is a dress code in Lemon Merangia. You require two temporary Hadakeka tattoos and a cake tea. And finally, you must eat an entire slice of Lemon Meringue Mega Cake. Mmm. If you want to see more Mega Cake, then play this right here. If you want to see more giant food novels and stuff, there's a playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe.